Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode four. Don't know what it's called yet. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. Yeah. So all this happened. Who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with? Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Save Stop. Kate. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That sounds like suicidal. Listen. Tensions. I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally mm -hmm. fucked up. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. <laughs> Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh huh. Yeah, all right. That, uh, yeah, choose wisely, exactly. It's not the K thing where we can't change it. <laughs> so now Chloe is a paraplegic. Little crab. The storm's still coming. Wait, is, yeah, we have to fix it because I remember when I clicked how to save Cage with the video saying how to save Arcade Bay and Chloe. So I'm guessing it showed a picture of the blue hair Chloe. So I assume we have to get back. That's awful. Oh my god. That's so terrible. That, that beach must reek. <laughs> Why does anybody move them? Get some bulldozers, push them back in the water. Or at least use them for food. Dark room. Okay, so now we know the name of it. I guess we're gonna be uh, finding Rachel. Hey there, we are together. It's awful! Why are we just taking these big show down there? It probably stinks. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. So Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, 
Pretty much. Yeah. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Yeah, some dead whales, you know? So <laughs> dead hunchbacks. Kind of know how they feel. At least I'm alive here with you. At least. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Uh, all right. So it was either her or him. Huh. So she died. So yeah. Karma's a bitch, isn't it? <laughs> Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just... Happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do I still have my powers, yes or no? That's what I want to know. Can I still rewind time and all that? Because, you know, this is going to be really boring if I can't. <laughs> it might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. See ya. Beach Eagle. <laughs> so I just want to know if we can fix this. Pretty high tech layer. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. 
when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Right, yeah, where's the water at? Bathroom. Right. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. Alright, so, They're um... so great. I'm looking for water. I can't leave out either of these doors. Snow globes are taking over. The snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. She can put her face on it. There you go. Put her nose on. She can feel her nose. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man. Turn it off. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. There we go. Found it. <laughs> Straws kill oh, man. animals. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? Mm -hmm. I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? <laughs> Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like <laughs> an adult now. <laughs> it seems like we were kids in another life. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, with your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, he'd have to be my living assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. Am I not su I don't know. I have to, you haven't given me an option to rewind yet, so it's only been choices so far. Uh... I know this is a dumb question, but are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in any team trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <laughs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. 
I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. <laughs> not yet. All right, let's get the DVD player. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. Hopefully it's right underneath. Yeah. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Her power. Uh. Ah, here's the DVD. All right, let's pop that baby in. She's just watching me now. <laughs> it's creepy. She's just staring at me. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so it's morning now. We fell asleep. Hopefully, it's a weekend before we have to get to class. Chloe doesn't even go to school anymore. Chloe's gone. No, she's not. She's right there. Um. Is she just staying awake? I fell asleep and she stayed awake all night. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Uh, fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh... It's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Let's hurry. Yeah, I'm not gonna ignore those because it's Victoria. So is Mackie a druggie now? It's her old room. Keep in the bathroom, they said. No way. Come on, come on. Alright, let's check the cabinet. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Alright, morphine. Looking for some morphine. Nothing here. Morphine. Where would you keep morphine? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Okay, where's the morphine at? We need some morphine. Where's my drugs? Oh, that cabinet. There. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
I never heard much about William's brother. There you guys go. From Aaron. That's so there. I guess we stopped growing up together. At least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again. Who am I to judge? So apparently she used to have to use that. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. All right, let's get back to Chloe. So yeah, this is so sad and depressing. No, I don't think Joyce's tips will cover all this. Let's talk one. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I just I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Chloe Price, yeah. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William? I just want you to know that it is hard process. Yeah, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is nostalgic. So nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay, or is it? Great, more stuff. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. <sighs> Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. 
But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. So I still don't know, that's good, I can't really do anything. Okay, so we're gonna This insurance is worthless. Hey, William. Skip, skip. I know. Skip, skip, good. Skip, skip. Karen, skip, 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 skip. And Tommy, okay. skip, me. skip, skip. Um, uh, she's mad at me. Skip, 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 skip. First class family, evil, evil. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I have to go see if Chloe needs it. <laughs> you act like it's... Alright. So yeah, we have a rerun powers, that's good. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Yeah, what am I doing? What? Where, where does it go? Of course my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. I'm so we confused. Can we here. fix this? Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Yeah. Literally seems like yesterday. <laughs> it was yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could. 
Maps, Listen, what are you doing? Maps. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, so again, it's only or... getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. Is she talking about having me kill her? I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? I understand. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Uh, I should probably check with her parents first, see if that's okay, you know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. <laughs> the whole opposite way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. I can't, actually. Okay. I have to actually contemplate and just I'm think it over, as they all know that I'm watching. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. Tell her about the food. Refuse! Chloe. <laughs> I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. If I kill you, they'll probably get me arrested. I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me, like everybody else. You go back to the time when you, uh... You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go, and don't come back. Cry about my time. I am never leaving you again. Tell her about your time powers. What are you doing? T tell her. All right, take the photo. What, what am I doing? What? Focus on Phil. I'm sorry, William. You could go back to where she was got paralyzed. So yeah, we do fix it. All right. That's good, right? No, no, all right, all right. There we go. Yes, no, no, all right, uh, how about this? This is hard. I don't like this. No, all right, focus. This is hard to do. Hang on. Well, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. That's what I did last time it worked. So I did the exact same thing last time. Do it. That looks pretty clear to me. Oh wait, I just had it. I just had it. Um, that was just over there. That's it. Oh, 
Oh, I just had it and that just... Oh my god, this is hard. This is like the hardest thing to do in the game. Oh, there it was. That right there, that's it. Guys, tell me in the comments, because that looks clear to you. That looks very clear to me. That looks so clear that... No game blurry. There we go. Holding it. I'm holding it. Oh, good. Okay. Phew! Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course mm -hmm. I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Just tell them not to go and don't buy one on the call. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. So he fixed it. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back, always. truck how about this we don't how we just don't uh you know have her drive her car on that day then you have William and Chloe both just fine and we get warm back What is that? There's Kate Marsh. Rachel, remember? What am I looking at here? Where am I? Please turn around. What's happening? Chloe, you're back. Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just... I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grow. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. 
Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. <laughs> Welcome back to the real world, Max. Yep. Let's go like to the board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Well, and coffee tastes terrible, so. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Yes, Chloe Price was here. She was caught, you should just tell her to stop, stop uh, smoking. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? A lot. <laughs> Tell you that much. <laughs> I still feel sketchy about giving Chloe the gun back. I feel like we're missing a major clue. That snow doe always makes me think of William and Chloe. So what do you want me to do? Paper? Damn. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Well, whatever that is, that's serious, you know. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Well, that's that. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. Fine, whatevs. It's their power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of step crack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. All right, so. I can't abuse this. Yeah, you can't abuse power. Yeah, we got it. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Got it. Warren, hey! So yeah, I didn't check the messages from the other girl. Probably still on my phone.
Good, um, Victoria say. Oh, so we're back in that timeline. Alright, so we don't get to see where our mess sisters were. Alright, about Juliet. Justin. David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Great. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. She could have we went back to Either the time. Chloe stole another gun or David is out there armed. Probably the second thing. Yeah, it was a scary guy. Yes, there's a weapon on him. Uh, yeah, you could have let Chloe see what David. What the hell did David do I mean, for see. David? And what did his dad do for David? I wonder William. if David is going to the party. <laughs> Probably. But I'll be at the chaperone. Alright, and then your locker look. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I'll try. There's literally like a thousand combinations. Alright, let's go find a for combo. Once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. Alright. Well, fire hydrant can do it. No? This fire hydrant can do it though. Find a way to break the padlock. All right, let's go see what we have over here in our, in our tool. What's this? Uh, what's that? What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for there we go. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Yeah, I, I don't see how, but you know, go ahead, do it. Sorry. Crowbar. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. That does not seem like that would have worked. Just use it with your own hands, if that was the case. A 
file. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Um, so you're taking pictures of when beat him up, Chloe's license plate number, me, yeah, all right. Score. Back to Chloe now. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. We can move the plank back, right? Yeah. Sure, is that somebody coming? Oh, Alright. Um. Hold on. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay Wildlife series. Oh, yeah, see? Now we move the plank back over. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy legs. Achievement! Hmm, phone number two. Uh, it's not open that door, that leaves a trace. Did we put the crowbar somewhere? Did we leave that crowbar on the floor? I guess. What if you have a pad up here? Why would you leave the crowbar out? Let's go back upstairs. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. <laughs> I can't go upstairs. Yo, Chloe, are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel, plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. <laughs> but imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> I was gonna say, so we about to do something or? Hey, Kay, what's up? <laughs> Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. 
I gave most of the flowers to other friends here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. <laughs> One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel and Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Hmm. Oh, cool. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. They're yeah, really screwing with time. Fire time is not going to like you after that this game. Ugh, time travel is such a mindfuck. Painting, drawing. All right. So we got here. We got a uh, heart. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed, but not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Oh, conversation time. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Victoria. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a, uh not nice. <laughs> but I do a believe bitch. in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Oh, because she's a bitch. <laughs> that's an option. That's, not, yeah, that's an option. <laughs> she's a bitch. Uh, she's insecure. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And... You could bring Warren along, too. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. 
You know he likes you. I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. That doesn't make any sense, but all right. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't uh, do this without I don't you. Know. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Then I should do it. I, I have, have the powers here. Yeah, I guess Clyde I just rewind. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Um... Bunny, did I feed that thing lately? I mean, I went back in time. I have been spending some time with Chloe. Thank you, sisters. Uh huh? You really saved Kate. All right, time to leave. See you later, Kate. Well, how is she? So we're gonna end it at in the next scene. So after Thank this, God. done. I'm glad we came to see her. So Please, go support Rock Phoenix. Share my new YouTube channel. Let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. Um, that little prick is not gonna be glad when he sees us. Yeah. So yeah. Before that, um, wow, I look mad. Uh, yeah. So see you on my Instagram, Twitter. Saving. All right. See you guys next time.